I think DARPA is missing an opportunity to turn this into a reality show. I would actually watch this. Which one of these is going to be the future soldier and murderer of humans at will? That'd be pretty cool. Like, which which one is going to be the Terminator? So they're going to do, they have 25 robots for a $3 million, $3.5 million challenge to see who can go through an obstacle course with remote control and make their own autonomous decisions. You know, basically the end of humanity. <clears throat> so how they work, a human controller sits at a computer, looks through their eyes with their sensors and the whole deal through a wireless connection, works with the robot to complete this obstacle course. It's not entirely human control. Like, these robots also make decisions on their own. Yeah, pretty terrible. <clears throat> so here's the obstacle course. They have to drive an all-terrain vehicle, then exit the vehicle, open a door, locate and close a leaking valve. Then you can see the eye, the brain, the hand, the mounted mobility <laughs> driving the car. Then, uh, after they do the valve, they cut through a wall, and there's going to be a surprise test the robot has to figure out. And then they're presented with a chance to clear debris or to go over rough terrain, and finally climb stairs and exit the course. So without further ado, here are the future killers of men, right here. You can see there are no weapons attached currently. Um, DARPA assures us that there never will be. These are going to be purely rescue robots. Because I'm sure DARPA would be investing all this time and energy to save people. You know, that's that's what they do. The first seven here are all DARPA robots. Running Man here is actually the favorite. They In the article, they made a joke about Vegas odds. I'm sure if Vegas knew about it, they would put odds on it. But right now, Running Man is considered the favorite. You can see 63386. These are not tiny things. Helios. 65401. Again, it says MIT, but there were these, like I said, the first seven are funded by DARPA. And then the rest of them have their own private or public, you know, some are from Korea, some are from Japan, some are just US private companies, in quotes. So yeah, as you can as you can probably tell, I'm against this. Any kind of technology like this, I'm just, I'm really, 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 really against it. Shouldn't be developed. In a world run by sane people. I'd be okay with this. Like, little micro drones, if used to, like, with the bees going down, like, to, if they were used to pollinate crops, or, you know, for good purposes, to help mankind, I'd be fine with it. I'd have no problems with it. But when you make, like, mosquito or, you know, bee-sized drones to just go and spy on people and to gather information or to, you know, reach a critical mass and then explode or let off their own poison gas or whatever like this is what DARPA does like they don't think about pollinating crops they can say this was inspired by Fukushima like a human could have gone in and invented the hydrogen so that the building wouldn't have exploded whatever the reactors were in meltdown that's not the point they're just using that as an excuse they would have done this anyway they've been working on these things for years these aren't just made in the last four years this technology has been in the works for a while so once they decide to equip these things with weapons, what are you going to do? Whether they've become conscious by then or not, or if there still is a gamer <laughs> slash soldier in the room controlling these things like a video game and just shooting people like you would in whatever, like, I don't play video games, but whatever shooter game, like, that's out there. It doesn't, does it really matter at that point? A person goes around and kills with their avatar robot, like, 50 people, are they going to care? No. Like, there's drone operators around the world bombing weddings and just killing innocent people all the time. So there's nothing to stop them once controlling those aer aerial drones or controlling these drone robots. It, it's all the same. People will do it. It was wondering, will soldiers fire on... Yes, they will. They will. That's their job is they kill people. Whether they're American people or Middle Eastern people or whatever people, it's what they do. If they can rationalize it with their orders and their briefings... They'll, they'll just kill you. They don't care. You're the enemy. Like, they work for the government. You are not the government. You are the enemy. You're trying to take their job. You're, it's just, they will kill you. I'm not worried about it. But if they could have these things rolling around, one, we wouldn't lose our soldiers. Two, they wouldn't need soldiers because they're going to get rid of people anyway. You know, and these, look at these things. 
Six seven. Like how are you gonna fight something that's six seven? That's made of metal with a weapon. It's ridiculous. But only two more. There were twenty five of these. The competitions taking place in June. And like I said, DARPA they should televise this or at least record it, edit it later, and you know have a good two hour special on how these things will eventually kill us. I mean humanitarian, search and rescue. That's right. 